All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekhakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the Akim who go out throughout the four corners of this earth pushing this truth. Sincerely, risking your life to do so, putting your life on the line uh, for Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, salutations to you. And uh, this is just a quick video. Uh, going in on the wickedness of Esau, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, uh, who the Most High has put over you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians. And uh, I'm going to get right into it. This is a video from RT. And uh, Florida pastor arrested for selling COVID-19 cure. 62-year-old Mark Renan in the blue on the left and then his son Joseph to his right. Uh, now the big question is why did the Colombian feds raid their residence in Santa Marta, Colombia? Well, it turns out that this miracle mineral solution, or as they dubbed it, MMS, it's a chlorine dioxide solution. That's when you mix it with water and another solution that they add in and it becomes bleach. And we're not talking about just the regular bleach that you would use for the laundry. This concoction is like a mega bleach, which is comparable to the industrial grade bleach used for treating textiles, industrial water, pulp, and paper. Now, the Genesis 2 Church, based in Florida, has been selling this product for about five years now, but it was the rise of COVID-19, particularly when Florida saw a huge spike in early summer, that the Grenin's earnings shot up from about 30k a month to 120k again promoting this miracle solution is saying that it cures not just covid but even alzheimer's cancer and autism in children now as much as all right so let's clear that up this father and son a pastor and his adult son are selling bleach to israelites they got caught in colombia all right And this, this devil, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, has been doing this to our people since he's been in power. That's right. So I'm going to get into some scriptures um, that prophesied about this. And you should know your enemy and know that he's against you. And stop trying to be equal with him with this Black Lives Matter bullshit. Right? Because we are not equal to them. We are superior to the so-called white man. He is uh, the basis of men. Even the, the African, who is base as hell, is over Esau, Edom, right? Even the African's going to have a place in the kingdom of heaven as a slave, whereas Esau's slavery lasts for a thousand years, and then he's going to be eradicated off the face of the planet forever. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 48, uh, according to the Bible, right? Don't try to make this a hate speech. I'm uh, bringing the word straight out of the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 58. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which, uh, and this is going into Israel, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in, want, in, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he did that physically. He put a physical yoke of iron on, uh, upon us, but it was also a spiritual one. It's talking about slavery. And he has destroyed us. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right? Verse 49. And Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the ends of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And that's how they were able to break all of those treaties with the so called Native Americans, because when they came from afar, uh, as swiftly, right? And it uses the symbolism of symbolism of an eagle because that's their nation's power right that's what they use as their uh, symbolism of their power and he brought them against us with a tongue we didn't understand and so that's how he was able to break over thousands of treaties right verse 50 a nation of fierce countenance which should not regard the persons of old nor shew favor to the young and he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until thou be destroyed. And he killed off all of the buffalo and took all the corn for himself and destroyed us. Which also shall not leave neither <laughs> leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of the kind, or the flock of the sheep, until he have destroyed thee. 
And, uh, you know, that's why we're in this, the situation that we're in now is because he came, up, came upon us like that. Uh, but that was for our disobedience. The Lord is using him as a whooping stick. And, uh, you know, our time of being punished is almost over. And his time of being punished is coming for shit like this, man. Trying to sell uh, bleach to uh, the indigenous people of Colombia, man. Come on. Esau Edom is the devil, man. He's a wicked piece of shit. Seven Americans have died from this miracle potion, which prompted a Miami federal judge to order the church to stop selling it last Seven April. Americans that's why Mark and Joseph from. Grennan, that's why they were down in Colombia, packing and selling it there. Now, they are being extradited to the U.S., where they face charges on conspiracy to defraud the U.S. and Food and Drug Cosmetic Act. Hey, and, you know, sorry for you, Esau. Hey, man, <laughs> kingdom's being translated before your very eyes. So that's why you're watching your power dwindle before you. You used to be able to get away with shit like this. You know, you could kill uh, Israelites and nobody would give a damn. But now you're being called out for your wickedness because, hey, man, pretty soon the nation of Israel is going to be in power. And you so-called Edom, or you, you Edomites, you so-called white people are going to be in slavery for a thousand years. You know what I'm saying? For all the wickedness that you brought against the nation of Israel, your slavery, your, uh, your assimilation, your murder, your rape, your robbing, your pillaging, your fucking overzealous uh, and overgathering uh, greed, right? You got to pay for that. Everything you do in this life, you got to pay for, you know, and, and your comeuppance uh, is coming and it's going to return upon your own head. Uh, this is uh, Obadiah, uh, verse 15. For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Because Esau is going to be, uh, he's got to serve his slavery. He's got to serve double the slavery he gave, and then he's going to be eradicated. Or he's going to be destroyed. And not one branch or root shall be left, according to the Bible. Verse 17, but upon my holy mountain shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and our possessions and our gift from Yahweh Shai as joint heirs is going to be uh, these these uh, other nations as slaves, because they're we're going to be in our kingdom, and they're now going to be in their servitude, where it's been the opposite. The nation of Israel has been serving all these other nations, man. Every other nation comes over here and treats us like shit in their little stores and their little bodegas and, you know, whatever, man. It don't matter. Y'all are going to have to serve up, too. And we'll see how you like being treated that way. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph, Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh hath spoken it. All right? And they shall, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the Philistines, and they that possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead, and the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall be there shall possess that of the Canaanites even the Zarephath uh, and the captivity of Jerusalem which is in uh, Shepharad shall possess the cities of the south and the Savior shall come up to the Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. All right. So Esau, devil, your kingdom is coming to an end. So all of this shit you've been doing like this is going to stop. The Most High is going to usher in the kingdom of heaven with his people. And you're going to have to serve that slavery. And then sayonara, Jack. <laughs>